Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you my take on Apple iPad Pro 11 inch 3rd generation 2021 experience. So without further ado, let's skip through unboxing. There is not so much to say about it, it all was packed up just as any other Apple product, very efficiently, with minimum of accessories included. The tablet itself is a brilliantly designed piece, stunning quality, impeccable industrial look and feel. Apple is well known for its industry-leading design, and it shines here at its best. Besides beautiful tablet, the packaging also have USB-C power adapter. 20 watts. It is recommended to use iPad Pro with included charger, but I was trying out a couple of USB-C adapters from other manufacturers, and the results were always positive, so I would not worry that much about 20 watts only adapter included. It works just fine with any other good quality adapter. USB 4 Thunderbolt connection makes possible to use almost any USB-C hub out there. For example, this brandless multi-connection USB-C hub. I've got it for a couple of years and as I remember it was absolutely not expensive. I'm using it with my Windows laptop. Surprisingly it works well with iPad Pro too. This one I purchased last year. It's made by Omers, not very known brand to me, but it has a very good build with some handy extras. It has multi USB out and power delivery with Apple Watch charging plate built in. Also it has plug and play audio with 3.5mm headphones out. So it is one of the most complete ones. I would like to say a couple of words about this little USB-C to 3.5mm adapter. 32-bit 382 DAC makes it possible to listen high-res audio from the iPad through the wire. Apple M1 is a real breakthrough. It handles almost everything with ease. I've got here open LumaFusion project with 4K footage, color grading lots, audio video effects and some other tricks. And it's all moving very nicely without any problems. Regarding graphic applications, as in this case with Affinity Photo, I could say that Apple iPad Pro coupled with Apple Pencil is an absolute overlord. Now with M1 capabilities are almost infinite. As I understand, M1 power is just not yet fully unleashed by the iPad OS, so there is still more to come. And of course that gorgeous display with perfect color reproduction makes a big difference. Good for almost all situations. Here is another popular graphic app, PixArt. Works very nicely on iPad. I'm using it myself quite often. It is a very easy to use and user-friendly graphic app with great capabilities, although not that advanced as Affinity Photo app. It is way easier to use, especially for quick and funny edits. I was trying out iPad Pro with different peripherals and accessories, which I'm using daily with my laptop and desktop, wireless as well as wired, including wireless Logitech keyboard, Microsoft mice, couple of Zoom Pro audio devices, Korg MIDI mixer, different wall chargers, couple of USB-C hubs, USB-C microphone, etc. It seems to me very handy to be able to record high quality audio from a lavalier microphone without much of a hassle. As for example, when I need to record narration or interview, or in some cases, vocal parts and ambient sounds, Apogee Meta Recorder is my app of choice for those needs. In this case, coupled with brandless USB-C microphone, I was able to record high quality audio in 24-bit, 96kHz, WAV format. The same story with this Samsung ANC USB-C headset. It is working very well too, only in this case I've got stereo on input. It also gives you high-res audio, 24-bit 96kHz, due to built-in DAC. Nice thing that you also can adjust level of input with this app. Probably the biggest disappointment from all beautiful experience of working on the Apple iPad Pro 11 inch 2021 is the iPad OS Music app. From my point of view, it is not only inconvenient, but also very much user unfriendly and in some ways simply awkward. Moving on. Thunderbolt 4 upgrade from the previous generation is very welcome addition. It gives iPad Pro capabilities of a serious personal computing system. Here I've got portable external enclosure for NVMe SSD with 1TB a data NVMe SSD installed. 
I'm using this USB stick, so to say, to transfer my media files from device to device. Not all computers can handle it, but Apple iPad Pro 11 inch can and this is. That kind of power in that kind of device is rather impressive. All subjects of my test connected directly through the USB 4 Type-C Thunderbolt connector to the iPad were working almost as good as in case with any laptop or desktop or in some cases even better. Now let's see how it will work with my USB-C hubs. So here we are. Omar's USB-C hub has built-in DAC with 3.5mm headphones out. Audio is plug and play, so iPad has no problems in recognizing it. It could come very handy if you would like to work with audio creative apps like Cubasis 2 from Steinberg. You can go 24-bit 48kHz audio on it. Or Tractor DJ2 from Native Instruments. It is also possible to charge the iPad Pro battery if charger is connected. All work just fine, pretty neat I would say. Regarding Tractor DJ, there is an interesting issue I would like to talk about. I've got this MIDI controller audio interface Tractor Control Z1 from Native Instruments, which was working very well in the past with iPad Lightning connector. The thing is that even if charger is connected, Apple iPad Pro 11 inch third generation is not charging, so it could be an issue if you'd like to have a longer session. The solution is quite easy, USB-C hub, as simple as that. So let me show you. Here I'm using my old generic USB-C hub connected to the power delivery 40 watt charger, then to iPad Pro and now to Control Z1. Everything works, iPad Pro is charging and all media working just fine. Although there is not so much change since iPad Pro 2nd generation 2020, look, there is dramatic changes happens under the hood. 2021 model has 8GB of very quick RAM and very efficient and powerful or even legendary, so to say, Apple M1 processor, coupled with USB 4 Type-C Thunderbolt, which is indeed turns it into a very serious personal computing device. It is very important to choose your iPad case very thoughtfully. Firstly, it has to be stable. Secondly, it has to give your iPad Pro good protection from fall and elements. And thirdly, it has to be light and handy enough so you can carry it around and use anytime necessary. After some time searching, I discovered this ESR Sentry iPad Pro 11 inch 2021 case. This is just right. The other thing important, as I already have said before, is good USB-C hub. And I purchased this subrand multipurpose USB-C hub with 60 watt power delivery, especially to use with the iPad Pro. Because besides multiple USB outs, it also has an SD card reader and RJ45 connector, which could be quite handy in some situations. It has a very nice build, fully metal enclosure, overall quality is fits very well with the iPad Pro quality level. So now I would like to connect it to the iPad Pro and check out how it would work with some peripherals. I've got ready for this test. For power source, most of the time I'm using it works 65 watt USB-C power delivery wall charger. First, I will connect it to my favorite audio interface, Zoom U44. It is a 32-bit audio capable device with 4 ins and 4 outs. As you can see, it could go as far as connected hardware could, implementing all 4 ins and 4 outs in 32-bit 96kHz, just as expected. Now let's make it slightly more interesting by connecting USB MIDI controller Cork Nano Control 2 through the USB-C hub. Cubasis 3 could see it connected and initiated it right away as a MIDI device. Next, let's check out some Cork on iPad OS apps. Cork module. As soon as it's recognized by the system, Cork module app unlocking some extra within the app, which is obviously a good thing. Also, Core Gadget iPadOS. Very nice app with many great capabilities. Hello. 
works great with core hardware and obviously a joy to use. Easily recommendable to anyone disregards the level of knowledge. Apple Pencil is crucial. It is indeed a great help or even necessity in some cases. Overall, I've got a very good impression after getting to know Apple iPad Pro 11 inch 2021 as standalone personal computing device. Most of all, I would like to admit how amazing is that easiness of working with very sophisticated pro grade creative apps. It's just different level of personal computing experience. Of course, there is some imperfections like file management and desktop iTunes relations, but there is also some workarounds about those issues. So hope that those imperfections will be addressed by Apple self in close future. One of the subjects presented on this table is the most powerful portable computer on the planet. Great author Arthur C. Clarke once said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. It's fascinating. iPad Pro 11 inch third generation also works very nicely as media consumption device. Screen refresh rates, impeccable color reproduction and special audio could bring experience of watching content to the new level. As it well known, Apple also have a very well made office suite of apps for iPad OS. All those apps are great. As for my favorite Apple iPad OS apps, I'm a big user of Apple Books, Podcasts and Mail. Plus of course I could not forget Microsoft Office Suites which is also works fantastic on iPadOS. Other apps which I use frequently and could personally recommend is Adobe Cloud and everything what's in it, VLC Media Player, my favorite Groove, Gem, App, Akai, IMPC2, Documents by Riddle, and two of Microsoft trusty OneNote and Skype. No more of expensive Apple only lightning adapters. Although the quality of the Apple made adapters is not that bad, only the idea that you can purchase two multifunctional high quality brandless USB-C hubs for the same money as one lightning to USB adapter makes me very happy. As for conclusion, I only can add that from my humble point of view, Apple iPad Pro 3rd generation 2021 is the next logical step in development of the personal computing systems and it rocks. And that would be all for now. Thank you for joining in. Thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe and see you all next time.